Hello everyone. So today I'm going to compare some lip oils. I'm going to compare the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil infused with apricot oil and this is in pink quartz. I got this from Amazon and I paid $8 for it. And this is the Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil and this is in pink and I got it from Sephora and I paid between $38 and $40 for it. Um, it is on Amazon as well. So you guys, I decided to try the e.l.f. out and see how much I liked it. I wore it for two weeks and when I wore it, I didn't um, wear any other oils, lip oils or glosses and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it and I figured I would because I do like e.l.f. products. So yes, it's really good y'all. It's moisturizing. Um, it's not sticky, very hydrating. I am definitely going to keep repurchasing this. This is the applicator. This will be a staple for me. I like this a lot. And I like lip oils better than lip glosses. I always have. So the Dior is really good. Dior is bomb. I'm not going to. Dior lip oil is bomb. I like the lip oil better than the lip balm. The lip balm is good, but the lip oil is just something about it. I really like it. Of course, it's more pricey. I would go with the e.l.f. If they took the Dior away from me, I would be a little hurt, but I would be just fine because the e.l.f. is everything. So a while back before they even came out with the e.l.f., I found this on Amazon. And the packaging looks just like the Dior. Just like it. But it's not. It's a dupe for it, and I paid $5 for this. It's good. Um, I do like it, but I will... From now on, I'll be buying the e.l.f. I won't be buying this. The e.l.f. is a little better than this. Um, yeah, but this is cheaper. And I have actually had four to five um, containers of this. Yes, that's how much I've had. That's how much I liked it. But like I said, the e.l.f. is a little better. And so, yeah, but yeah, it's really good as well. I really liked it as well. And the, I don't like this packaging because look. You see that? That don't make no sense. You know, but this is another one from another seller. And as you see, it's empty. You can tell how much I like it and it's just fine. So yeah, I just got, I guess I got a bad one. But yeah, if you guys have not tried the Elf out, please do. I will link it down below or I'm going to put it in my Amazon storefront. It's amazing. I really like it. Dior is gone. It's bomb. It's, I don't know what else to say. It's bomb. I love it. But try Elf if you have not tried it. It's amazing. I really do like it. So around the time that, um, you know, we were wearing masks all the time, I wanted a really good lip balm. So I tried this out. This is the Estee Lauder um, lip balm. They also have a gloss, a reviving gloss that's really good. But yeah, so I tried this and I liked it. And then I seen a dupe on Amazon. They just come to my, um, <laughs> when I be searching stuff, they just, these dupes just pop up. This is the packaging for the dupe. And this one says two because there's two different um, colors. And this is the two. I think one is clear. I'm going to show you that one. Sorry, y'all. I think one is clear. But yeah. That is this one. It's just like, um, I'm trying to get it to focus. There it goes. It's just like the Estee Lauder one. It's about the same. This is magnet, y'all, a magnet. It's about the same color. And I like it because it's magnetic, just like the Estee Lauder. So then I got this one. This is the first one that I got. That's the first one that I got, and I liked it a lot. They're all magnetic. Now with the Elf and the Dior, I am still going to buy both of these because I like both of them. Now with the Estee Lauder and the Dupe, this is the packaging for the dupe. I'm not going to buy Estee Lauder anymore. This is seems like this is the exact same thing. I don't I don't know why. But I only paid um maybe 3 to 5 dollars for one of them and then the other I believe was 5 dollars. Yeah. 
I will not buy the Estee Lauder anymore because I paid in the 20s, up in the 20s for this, and this was only 4 to $5. So I won't be buying this. I'll continue to buy the dupe. That's how much similar it is to me, in my opinion. Now these, like I said, I would buy both, but if they took Dior from me, I will be just fine with the Elf. So that's my comparisons. I hope that helped you guys. And I'm also going to link this as well. It's really nice if you like a lip balm. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites. And by the way, this is the um, Lip Glow Dior Lip Balm. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase this again. It's good, but I've had dupes that's just as good. You know, yeah. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites. This is one of them. Y'all probably already know. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy and Let's Get Physical. I absolutely love these. I bought several of these. Um, yeah, which one is this? Y'all can't see. That's a shame. I can't see. I don't have my contacts on. But, um... Yeah, I've bought several of these. I absolutely love these. These will be a repurchase. My store cannot keep these in stock. So yeah, they're really, really nice and you don't need a lot. I've always liked CoverGirl though. So I like those. And then this is um, the Bath and Body Works Lip Oil and Caramel Dip. They don't sell this anymore, but I do like it a lot. And I went through my lippies um, not too long ago to get rid of some and got rid of a lot. And um, I found more of these, so I'm so happy since they don't sell them anymore. And then this is also from Bath and Body Works. This is the Nighttime Balm. I use this and then I use the Pillow Talk from Too Faced with y'all. So that girl, TLA, had showed this on um, Instagram. And I went and tried it out and I bought one. Y'all, I went back and bought four more. And I don't see them anymore. If I do, I will get them. Now, it is not CO Bigelow brand, of course, but this is really good. And it's like a pink tint. Now, you don't have a pink tint on your lips. It goes on clear, but it comes out like, um, like a clear pink. It's so pretty. So yeah, so I have been wearing this and I have not been wearing this, y'all. It This is really nice. If you see it at the Dollar Tree, grab one just to see how it does. It says hydrating night lip mask. Yes, yes, yes. It is definitely hydrating. And I use this in the daytime as well. But I do love um, the, the night balm from Bath & Body Works. I tried the one from um, Victoria's Secret and I didn't like it. I end up giving it away, giving the ones away that I hadn't used because I went in on it. I love a night lip um, balm. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss and Sugar Glass. This is a really nice lip gloss for a very affordable price. I think I paid $4 for it from Amazon. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then I got and then I got the Lano Lips in Strawberry. This is one of my faves as well. I got this from Ulta, and they're around $13. Um, some are a little higher, but I've never had one that I did not like. So I like that a lot. And then, y'all know, I have the NARS in my bag a lot. This is the NARS in Orgasm. I really like the um, lip oil or lip gloss, and I also have the lip balm as well. And I get this. I used to get it from... I think Sephora or Ulta, I can't remember which one, but then my TJ Maxx started having it, and so I get them from there now. And then this is the Chanel and Icing. This is really, really good. I'll use a little bit of this at a time. Of course, you know, it's Chanel, so, you know, it's looks. It's really nice. Um, I like it a lot. And then this is the Laneige, and I love this pot right here because you don't have to dig your finger in it. There is an applicator that you can use, and it's perfect. Just slide it back in. And so, yeah, I like that a lot. And I think that's all. I'm going to show you a couple that I just picked up, and then I had um, a subscriber ask about my watch, and I keep forgetting to show it. So these I just picked up from the, do not Dollar Tree, from TJ Maxx. So I've had this before in a different um, scent. This is Sweet Scented and this is Cherry Scented. I can't remember which one I had, but y'all, I bought one and fell in love with it. I love a lip scrub and then it has the oil. So I would use this at nighttime 
or I would throw the oil in my bag. And these were $6.99. If I see more, I'm going to get more. I can't wait to see how these smell. I'm going to use this one first. But yeah, I like those. And that's all as far as the lip products go. Um, this watch I have had for a while. This is a guest watch that I got on Amazon. I think I missed it when it was on um, the guest website. Y'all, I love this watch so much. Um, it was $125 when I first saw it. I think I ended up getting up late one night and looking at it. And it was like maybe $80 or something. And I hurried up and bought it. So the price goes up and down. It is in my Amazon storefront. I absolutely love this watch so much. And every time I go to get another pink watch or buy another one, it looks just like this. So, um, yeah, it looks like this. So I end up not even getting it. So, yeah. And this is the back. So, yeah. The watch I have on now is a coach watch. I also have this watch with silver hardware. This one is a little bigger, it seems like, than my silver one. I don't know. This was on the coach reserve um, when they had the 15% off, I believe. So it was under $100. Um, and they have a light khaki one that I want because I love light khaki. And then I'll probably be done. I do want a Michael Kors watch as well. But yeah, I never can figure out which one I want when I go looking. I have to have something on my wrist because it feels funny when I don't. But yes, this is a guest watch. It is so beautiful. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out with the e.l.f. Um, and just to let you see some other lippies that I am enjoying and loving so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.